it's Brie. And if you have curly hair like I do, you of course want to straighten it sometimes. I mean, I, I love to be a chameleon. I love to put in different colored contacts. I like to style my hair differently. Sometimes I like it curly. Sometimes I like it straight, put a little effort into it. And I've had so many people comment or write me and ask me, how do you keep your hair so straight? What products do you use? Do you do it yourself? Sometimes I do it myself and sometimes I go to the salon. But for this video, I'm going to show you exactly what products I use and the tools that I use to straighten my own hair. So today I straightened my hair myself and I just wanted to make a mental note of exactly what I used when I used it. So the first thing I'm going to show you, I've shown this in like 20 videos now I feel like. The hair dryer that I used is this one. It's a Nano Silver Con Air from Ulta. This is a really great dryer because I feel like it cuts my drying time in half. It really does. It, it gets really, really hot and it blows really, really hard. So this, seriously, before I bought this, it took me about two and a half hours to blow dry my hair. With this, it takes me like an hour and 15 minutes. So that's what I do. The first thing I do is, of course, I use a leave-in conditioner. This is the one I really like. It's Redken Smooth Down. It really detangles my hair. My hair is so corkscrew curly. So this is good for when it's curly or straight. I really love this leave-in conditioner. And then I'll just put in a few other products. The second thing I'll do is I'll put in... John Frieda Frizzies Straight Answer. I really love this. What I do is I let the product stay in my hair. So I'll do my leave-in conditioner. I'll do this one. And then I do my heat tamer. This is Tresemme Heat Tamer. It's just a base. I also like to put in something for frizzies because I, once I blow dry it, I don't want it very, very dry. And I do have naturally very dry hair. So I use this one. It's Redken. It's called Blonde Glam because I really do want to bring out the blonde in my hair when I straighten it. So this does the trick for me. I also really like bio silk for my hair. So what I'll do is I'll just put all of that in my hair and then I'll like put it up in a turby towel and then I'll go about my business for like 15 or 20 minutes. Then I'll hit it with a blow dryer just a little bit more and as I go I'll use small strands of hair and then I use other products. So by the time it's sat in my turby towel for 15 or 20 minutes, I put on the Chi Silk Infusion. Granted, I don't use a lot of this product. I use maybe a nickel-sized amount, and I sort of get it all in my hair. Because I find if I use too much of it, it makes my hair really greasy, and I don't like that. To comb my hair out, I use a large wide tooth comb, and this one's from Con Air. This has stood the test of time. This is a really, really great comb. So I'll comb it out with a wide tooth comb and just sort of be blow, blow drying it. I focus on the crown of my head first since that's the place that is the most damp. And then I'll take small strands of hair and I'll use my round brush. I bought this from Sally's and the bottom of it, it has a little like thing to section off pieces of your hair. So this comes in handy. I really like that it has that on there. And I'll take small strands of my hair. I'll use my Sleek Look by Matrix, it's a smoothing system, and I'll spray before I blow dry on that strand of hair. And then the next step is that I'll use the Sleek Look smoothing system. This is more of a gel, and I feel like it locks my hair in place. And then I run my InStyler over it. It really polishes my hair. The rotating part really does polish my hair as it goes along. So I like that about my hair. So I'll blow dry and then I'll run this through it just to sort of give it a little volume and get it away from my head because you don't want it sort of, you don't want it stuck to your head when you're straightening it. So then I'll go down that strand with this. What I also like to do before I do my final product is I use Redken 06 Blown Away. This is just the travel size one. I always keep it with me. And then I have Redken 01 Outshine. And I'll sort of put this on that strand of hair. So I go over it about three times. And I know you're probably like, oh my gosh, your hair can't stand that heat. I have very, very coarse curly hair. So somehow it, it handles it and it's fine. Another little trick that I like to mention is 
I dry it, part it on the opposite side. So when I do finally part it, then part it properly, and it'll stay exactly where I want. I should probably have my hair down for this video. So I'm going to take my hair down. This is the final product of me straightening my hair today. And I did also want to note that I have a really fantastic brush. I don't ever really brush my hair, but when I do, I have... <sighs> It's a sharper image ion brush and a little ion shoot out of here. This is very old and very well loved, but it has a little light and a little ion shoot out through it and it's cold. So with all that heat that I've put in my hair, this ion brush really, really seals my hair because of the cold air that it puts on it and I do use the cold air feature on my blow dryer I really like it because I put so much heat and so much product on my hair that I like to run the, the cold part of the blow dryer through it and then I'll just run this little ion brush and it just sets it and my very very final step no matter what I use this when my hair is curly I use this when my hair is straight I use dry shampoo this is Salon Graphics. I think it is the best dry shampoo on the market. And I just sort of run it through my hair. And it absorbs all the excess product that you've put in your hair. If you feel like you've used too much of this cheese silkening stuff that makes your hair kind of greasy shine in your hair, this will absorb it right away. And what else will absorb the oils in your hair, because you don't want it to be greasy, is if you run the the in styler through it. I find that it really does polish your hair and it takes all the excess oil out. So of it. I'll run the in styler through my hair and I feel like that takes out the excess oils or not. So you just have to know the balance of your hair and sort of touch it and think, oh, I need it a little more moisturized. I need a little drier. And you go from there. If you need a little, if you feel like it's too dry, then put some frizzies and use some sort of like polishing milk or some anti-frizz. What I really like if I get my hair too dry is Paul Mitchell Super Skinny Balm. It's like a drink of milk for your hair and it really moisturizes it without putting a lot of grease into it. All these products are really good investing in it. I feel like every single one is needed to achieve the certain look that I'm going for. So I'll list all the products in the bottom bar. If there's a product that I need to try, list it in the bottom bar because I just, I love to change up my hair. And I'm also looking for some new fun hairstyles. So if there are other gurus out there or if you are a guru and you're watching, please send me your videos for for doing your hair. I like to do all kinds of fun Since things. my hair is very versatile, it's curly, straight, and it's really long, I like to do a whole bunch of different things. So if you guys have any suggestions or comments or have a video request, just send me a message or put it in the bottom bar. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.